Hello, my name is Orla Parslow Breen and I am the course director for the BSc Psychology programme run by the School of Psychology here at Ulster University. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our school and our degree programme. And so by the end of this, you'll know a little bit about psychology at Ulster, the different areas in psychology that we teach and what our programme looks like. OK, so I suppose psychology is the science of behaviour. It's really all about exploring why people behave the way that they do and understanding the different circumstances and the different things that cause those behaviours. And to do this, we do it scientifically. So we're, we're really not interested in anecdotal information around behaviour and the popular beliefs that circulate about behaviour. What we're actually interested in is the scientific analysis of behaviour and so we carry out a lot of research in order to be able to advise people on why people behave in the way that they do. The School of Psychology is based at Ulster University's Coleraine campus which is situated very close by the River Ban and the north coast seaside towns of Port Stewart and Port Rush. The campus has modern teaching facilities and an extensive library and the library has study spaces for both individual and group study and the campus is also home to the Riverside Theatre which hosts music, drama and comedy events and of course there are halls of residence with facilities for student living. So let's have a look at why you choose to study psychology at Ulster specifically. What, what, what we mean here is what are the strengths of our course and why you want to particularly come to us. We'll also look at the sorts of things that you'll learn and, and this is not just about psychology but also the learning outcomes that that is the skills that you'll, you'll, you'll gain above and beyond those skills that are purely psychology based. That, that's basically the transferable skills that employers are really, really interested in. We'll also look at how you will be taught and the different ways that we have to support you. And I'll talk a little bit about careers, the sorts of things that you can do when you graduate with a degree in psychology. Many people do want to go on and become professional psychologists, but there are also many, many other careers that are available to psychology graduates, just because, all because of those transferable skills that you gain from the degree. And so to start, why study psychology at Ulster? So what is it that really sets our course apart from other university psychology courses? Now, most of the universities in the UK and Ireland will have a psychology degree. And, but what makes us different is summed up here. Personalised teaching, top class facilities and employability. First, though, before looking at each of these things it's individually, there's one thing that you really need to look out for when you're thinking about studying psychology. And that is that the course you choose to, to take has been accredited by the British Psychological Society. This is because if you want to go and, on and actually become a professional psychologist, you will need to have studied an accredited psychology degree. Our course has been accredited by the BPS, so it gives you what is called Graduate Basis for Chartership, sometimes abbreviated to GBC. And this is the very first step in becoming a professional psychologist. That said, the things that really set us apart is the personalised teaching support that you will get. We have one-to-one -one tutorials, especially in the first year, when you're starting out and getting to grips with psychology and getting to grips with your new life at, as a university student, maybe away from home for the first time. We offer one-to-one -one mentoring and we also teach in small seminar groups. We also have really great facilities. We have some really excellent labs in cognitive neuroscience, as well as human performance and exercise labs. We've invested a lot of money in our student hub areas, which are really nice, bright spaces that you can go to to have a cup of coffee with friends or use them as, as, as breakout study areas. You will also see staff using these areas from time to time as well. 
And the really great thing about the Student Hub is it's that it is just for psychology students. We also work very hard, I think, to make sure that you're very employable. One of the key things that we really want to do as a school is to create a passion for psychology so that you can learn, understand and enjoy the subject, of course. But we also want to make sure that you can get a job when you graduate, which I'm sure is important to you as well. So we work very hard on our employability skills. Our degree was recently re-accredited by the BPS and one of the things that they, were re that they really commended us about was our focus on employability. So that we are sure that you gain the skills that employers need, we have an employer liaison group where we ask employers across psychology and in other sectors as well to come and meet with us in order to find out what it is they really want from their employees and from psychology graduates specifically. And then we try to ensure that those types of skills are embedded across our programme. So, you know, it might be that employers want to be able to work with people to work in teams and to give presentations. And so we try to make sure that we're giving you the types of assessments that build these skills for you, such as group work, group work based assessments and presentation work. And of course, it is also about making sure that you're able to understand psychology at a level where you can apply it to the real world so that you have the opportunity to undertake placement should you choose to, to, do, to do so, as well as take part in our psychology at work module in your final year. Now, both of those um, things, placement and the psychology at work module, really upskill you in terms of working with real world employers and implying psychological knowledge to the work environment. In order to be able to apply your psychological knowledge to real, real world issues, you're required to develop strong research skills such as learning strategies for gathering and synthesizing information. You'll also be required to search for, read and use in your, in your assignments and projects a lot of psychological literature that that is published psychological research, which you will find using online research databases, not Google, but online academic databases. Through reading psychological research literature, synthesizing information and analyzing data, you will learn to detect meaningful patterns in behavior. You will also learn how to apply research methodology, methodologies and statistics which sometimes come as a bit of a surprise to new psychology students, but you will learn about the scientific method, experimental methods and statistics. You'll also learn about qualitative study design and qualitative methodologies. Understanding and learning about research methodologies, statistics and qualitative methods of analysis are really important steps in learning to be an independent researcher. Throughout your degree, all the research skills that you learn build towards your final year dissertation, where, with the support of your supervisor, you'll, you will design and conduct a piece of independent psychological research. And along the way, you will also learn to reason scientifically. As well as a psychological as well as your psychology, psychology specific skills that you will gain, you'll also gain other skills that employers really value, such as effective communication, both written and verbal, which you will develop both in formal and in, and, and in professional communications with, with staff through things like emails, as well as the things developing things like initiative, self-direction and time management. And, all of these skills are sought after by employers and are key in, gain, in, in gaining employment for you after you graduate. And so in terms of the degree itself, our full time degree is over either three or four years, depending on whether you choose to go on placement. In the first year, we teach you the fundamentals. You will study two modules in the first year that give you an introduction to psychology in which we cover very broad areas of, of, of social, psychology, so social psychology, developmental psychology, individual differences, biopsychology and all other different areas within psychology. 
We will also teach you some research methods and statistics as well. And as well as that, in the first year, we have a module called Psychological Perspectives on Wellness and Resilience that is designed to build your capacity for resilience. In, in this module, we try to teach you methods that will help you with your resilience, help you with mental health, help you deal with stress and teach you some study skills. We've developed this module with colleagues at the University of Pittsburgh over the last couple of years, and it has been recently introduced to our degree programme and has been very well received by our current students. It's a really great module that teaches you some psychological theory, as well as being really useful in developing your own life skills. So that's the first year. In the second year, we really get into the core areas in, a mu in much more depth. So whilst we teach core areas within introductory, introductory modules in the first year, in the second year you will have specific modules related to social psychology, developmental psychology, individual differences, psychobiology, cognitive psychology and also advanced research methods. All of these areas are what the British Psychological Society would class as the core areas of psychology and they should be part of any good BPS accredited degree program. Now within these core area modules, you will learn about grand theories, behavioral theories, cognitive theories, and humanistic theories, which we use to try and explain human behavior. Now, in your third year, you can either go straight to your final year of study, or you can choose to go on placement. We have placement opportunities with lots of organizations, such as the NSP NSPCC, Childline. Some of our placement students go to work with, on to work, go and do work placement with the PSNI, particularly those who are interested in forensic psychology. We also send quite a lot of students to the Simon community in Dublin. And these students are often interested in addiction or homelessness and the attendant issues and difficulties that arise as a result of these, of, of, of these things. And there's also the opportunity to study abroad through, our Eras through the Erasmus programme. The final year of the degree is made up of two compulsory modules, the dissertation module and the psychology at work module, along with further optional modules. It is through the optional modules that you can tailor your degree to suit what you think you might want to do when you graduate. You may, of course, be already thinking of something that interests you, perhaps clinical psychology. And if that's the case, you can choose to take the applied psychology mental health practice module. We have other modules which focus on forensic psychology, behaviour analysis, health psychology, sport and exercise psychology, developmental psychology, applied social psychology. And these are just examples. There are many more. By choosing your optional modules, you'll be able to tailor your degree to your personal interests. And then there is the final year project, which you will hear called a dissertation. This is a project that you do over the course of your final year. It will involve you working closely with a dissertation supervisor on a piece of independent research that you design yourself on a topic that is of interest to you. The other compulsory module is the psychology at work module and I'll talk to you about that in a little later in this presentation. Now during Covid we took an online approach to teaching. Our lectures were delivered live online and also recorded so that students could revisit the material as and when they wanted to. In some cases just pre-recorded lectures were provided. Practical classes and small group tutorials were held online through our virtual teaching platform Blackboard. Practical sessions working with our partner organisations in our final year psychology at work module were successfully conducted online, as too were project supervision meetings and tutorial sessions. And with our adoption of Gorilla software, we, we were able to allow our students to run experimental studies online when asking people to come to campus for face-to-face -face experimentation wasn't possible due to pandemic restrictions. But things have moved on. 
So how will you be taught? During COVID, as I said, our teaching delivery was completely online. However, during the 21 to 22 academic year, we welcomed students back to campus in a controlled and safe environment, utilising a blended approach involving online and face-to-face -face teaching. Moving forward to 22-23 academic year and beyond, whilst we do expect to use some of the methods that we thought were really positive from our experience of teaching online, we will focus on face-to-face -face teaching. Our degree programme in the first two years is designed for you to be on campus three days a week. Psychology is a very, very popular subject, so you will have some very large group lectures every week, but you will also ha have small group sessions. Each module that you, learn, you take involves three hours of teaching per week, and this is usually delivered as a two hour lecture followed by a one hour small group session or practical class. There is also a lot of independent learning in a degree. For those of you who are still at school or thinking about taking a -le selecting A-level subjects or finishing A-levels this year, university is quite different. We ask you to do a lot of independent learning, which involves researching topics that you learn about in lectures and practical classes, as well as reading both the set readings and sourcing your own independent reading as well. But we do guide you through the process to become more independent as, as the degree progresses. It's not like all of a sudden we're going to ask you to behave very, very differently. Now, I know some of you may not be at school, but are coming back to education. And of course, we have ways to help support you with that, too. As far as assessment is concerned, coursework and exams are generally how we assess you. Our exams are generally quite traditional, being time limited exams that, that you take at the end of a module. But we also try to make sure we do some very interesting assessments outside of that. We have problem based and project based learning experiences where you might be expected to work in a group towards a common goal, for example, and then produce a group based presentation or report. And, but there are also the more traditional um, essay based assessments practical reports and things like that. With regard to our facilities, we have recently invested quite a lot of money, just over 1.3 million in the physical resource resources of our department. We've created some really nice lab research lab space where members of staff do their research, but we also use them for teaching. So you'll get involved too and learn to use some really nice equipment. Psychology at Ulster has a very strong reputation in statistical analysis and we have a data analytics centre and we carry out research along with colleagues in lots of different universities in the UK and America and in, and in other countries. We've also upgraded all of our experimental cubicles and have purchased software called, called Gorilla which will allow people to do experiments online and some, this is something that has would proved very very useful during the, 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 the Covid pandemic. We have created eight social suites, which are used for things like counselling and, and for those of you, for those who are learning to be a therapist or counsellor. But we also use them for teaching interview skills, for example. We have a child friendly kids lab, and this is where our developmental psychologists do often do their research. And of course, we have our student hub, which is an area of a dedicated space specifically for our psychology students. In general, we have a very open door policy in our department. We like to see our students around the hallways and, and enjoy speaking to, to you as we, as we see you about the place. You can come to speak to any member of staff and we're overall, we're all a very friendly, approachable bunch. In fact, many of our current students often say that they value our friendly and open door approach. We also have small group tutorials and one to one mentoring, as well as a peer mentoring scheme, which we call our PASS scheme. And this is where our second year students en engage really meaningfully with first years to talk about any of the difficulties that they might be experiencing as new students. 
is they've been in the first year very, very recently, and they know the pitfalls and difficulties along with the subject areas. So we, we run sessions so that they can help you with that. We have a virtual learning environment called Blackboard, where you will find teaching materials for all your modules. We have dissertation supervisors, so each of you will have one member of staff who will work directly with you in your final year when you come to do your final year dissertation project. And of course, we have lots of lots of library resources, both physically in the library itself, as well as in electronic format, as the library stocks both physical books and ebooks. And you will also have access to many psychological journals in electronic format. We work very closely with our colleagues in careers who will come to talk to you about the skills that you need in order to get jobs. We also have careers events where we invite psychologists along who are working in clinical, counselling, occupational, forensic, psychology, all these areas to speak to you about those areas and how you might get into careers in those areas. We also have a really, really, a really, really brilliant research culture within our school. So we invite outside researchers to come to talk to the school, to talk to us about their research, to which students are invited to. And also internally, we have lots and lots of fantastic researchers in our department who are part of our faculty, people who will be teaching you, who will also, who also give research talks as well. Beyond the school itself, the university has a student wellbeing service, which you will have access to. If you come to one of our open days or our applicant days, you, you will get the opportunity to speak to our students and ask them about what it's like to be a student at Ulster and what it's like to study psychology at Ulster. Um, Lucy Morgan, one of our students who has helped out at our applicant events before, and if she was available to speak to you today, she would have talked to you about why she chose Ulster and what she enjoyed about the course. So if you would be able to, if you were able to come along to one of our open days or our applicant days, it would be great if you could, and then you could speak to one of our students directly. Now, one of the things that many students value about our programme is the option to go on placement. If you choose to go on placement, you can do a number of things. Some students go to work in special education schools, some work in health trusts, working in a, a mental health role capacity. There have been opportunities to work with public, the Public Health Agency, the PSNI, the NHS. And if you get really excited by the research of some of our colleagues, you can come and do some research with us, as some staff may have opportunities for students to work as research assistants. Students who are considering taking part in the placement year will be able to sign up for the year two placement module, which they will take during, during their year two, and that prepares you for going out on placement. Now, whether you go on placement or not, every student will get the opportunity to work with some of our partner organisations on our award-winning third year module, Psychology at Work. This is the one of the two compulsory modules that students study in their final year. In this module, students will get the opportunity to work with one of our partner organisations on a real world pro project. We work with a number of different organisations, lots of charities, including things that people like Childline, Nexus, the NSPCC, Pink Ladies, and many, many other different groups. There are many more that are actually listed here on the screen. Now, this model is really about you applying your psychological skills and knowledge gained over the course of your degree to help an organisation with an issue that they are currently facing. Now, on this slide, you can see some of the projects that students have worked on and the, and, and, and the, and the, the, the issues that, that have to have had to have been resolved. Now, this is just a selection of the um, projects that, have, that, that we've, we've undertaken for, for our partner organisations. And all of these are really, really important issues that psychology is able to provide insight on. So if we take the first example, create advice for parents when speaking to their children about a diagnosis of cancer. 
you know, students who were working on this project would have drawn very, very, very heavily on the theory and research that they've learned through their developmental psychology um, studies in order to work out what's the best way to actually speak to children of different ages because speaking to a young child about um, something as serious as a, a parental cancer diagnosis say at four or five will be very very different just than speaking to a ch someone who's maybe uh, in their teenage years overall as you can see lots of different projects lots of really different projects that we've we, we've 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 worked with and lots of different organizations that we've worked with over the years and overall students who've undertaken this module really get the benefit of being able to employ their psychological knowledge on something that is an, on an important real world issue now as i've previously said we're keen that your ulster psychology degree will equip you to get a job one of the things that we do is to make sure that if you choose to do your psychology degree with us, we will provide you with the skills that employers want. You may want to go into one of the professional psychology careers, which would be brilliant. And of course, we can guide you towards that. And as a first step, your psychology degree from Ulster is accredited and recognised by the BPS. But you also might want to go into other careers such as advertising, marketing, human resources, or any role that requires you to have some psychological insight along with some professional transferable skills such as practical problem solving, scientific skills, project management abilities, team working skills and most importantly the ability to articulate your ideas and can communicate them well. And all these skills are the types of skills that are in huge demand across all sectors of employment and these are the skills that we would expect you to gain should you choose to study with us. You'll be able to apply for future careers in psychology with, a, with, with your psychology degree. The core areas in psychology such as counselling, forensic, clinical, health and others such as sport, and occupational. All of these psychological careers um, are open to you once you if you know once you gain your degree in, in psychology, your BPS accredited degree, because it gives you the grounding to be able to go on and apply and apply for and study to become a professional psychologist. There are some really interesting professional psychology jobs out there, and if that is what you want to do. We have colleagues here in the school who can help and guide you towards that. I've mentioned already our approach to teaching during the COVID pandemic and how we envisage teaching in the coming academic years. The school developed significantly over the last two years. We adapted our teaching quickly to ensure that we continued to deliver our teaching in a rapidly changing environment. As educators, we've learned what worked well and we are now well placed to respond to any changes in the public health situation should it become necessary. For the, the 21-22 academic year, we were able to adapt our teaching so that we could welcome our students back to a blended approach to teaching, offering both face-to-face -face and online li but live sessions. Moving forward to the 22-23 academic year and beyond, we expect to offer a full and vibrant on-campus teaching experience. So here's a summary of what we have on offer here at Ulster. If you choose to apply to Ulster, the psychology degree is based at the Coleraine campus and the UCAS code for the course is C820. Further details about the course, along with entry requirements, can be found on our website, or you can scan the QR code shown on the slide. Now, this slide is just about Ulster courses in general. All Ulster courses are continually reviewed, both in terms of teaching and in, and in research developments, both in industry and professionally. And this is really important and something we take very seriously. 
in psychology, we have just very recently reviewed our degree program in a process that's called revalidation. So you can be sure if you, if you choose to come to Ulster that the course that you study will be up to date in terms of both teaching and research. With respect to modules, these can change from time to time, as too can the order in which they are taught to you. This, however, this is very much linked to staff availability, so it is important to contact the course team for the most up-to-date information. And of course, you are very, very welcome to get in touch at any time. You can find me on the, university, the Ulster University Psychology staff webpage. My name is Orla Parsley-Breen. And if you look me up on there, you'll find my contact details, my email address and my telephone number. Finally, if you have any questions around entry requirements, you will find this information on the university website. And if you have spe specific questions, particularly around equivalencies and what, and for this I mean, if you if you don't have um, UK, uh, the, the website will will tell you UK. Um, and Republic of Ireland um, entry requirements, but if you have um, qualifications that, that are for elsewhere, you can please do get in touch to discuss um, specific, you know, specific equivalencies, and you can do that through the admissions email on the screen. So it's admissions at ulster.ac.uk, and you'll, someone will be able to help you. So if you like what you see, please do apply now through UCAS for Psychology at Ulster, Coleraine Campus, UCAS code C820. And we look forward to seeing you soon.